I'm stuck on this island and I've got to test redstone hacks to see if they work. Do not press. Island exploding in 60 minutes. This one says press if you press the other button. Okay. Fail to leave the island, drink ketchup milk. Well guys, we have 60 minutes then to escape the island using these redstone builds, or we must drink ketchup milk. Probably should not have pressed that button. That was a big mistake. So our first one is a viral redstone gate opener. It automatically opens and closes your gates, and this is, oh God. Oh, this looks so intense. Just to open that? He called it simple? This is going to be brutal. So what he's doing is making a disconnect, and I don't know how that works. This is so wildly, unbelievably confusing. Oh wait, I think I figured out the guy's trick. So the way this fence works is it uses nether brick and dark oak. These two fences don't connect to each other, so you can put them side by side, but they also look similar. Then what he's doing is he's using a lever to power on the piston down below, and that shuts off the fence. So now, so when you put the fences up like this, the bottom will actually can actually no wait 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 wait. The bottom will actually connect. All right, so you're, you're not really able to make it past this. You obviously you can't jump over a fence and it's completely closed off but when i pull this lever that's gonna suck it down and allow you to walk right through this one works successfully this appears to be the most compact nether portal toggle ever if you're sick of that annoying nether portal noise you could set this up and it actually looks so so simple first step nether portal second step build the rest of the nether portal and this is kind of where things get a little bit confusing to me because i'm not really a redstone expert and i don't really claim to be this guy actually made like a pretty legit tutorial so it says this one has flint and steel this one next to it has a water bucket so this is kind of easy then the redstone begins. I don't have any idea what I'm doing, guys. I, I, I know that it might look like it because I'm going so quickly. I don't. I'm just trying not to drink this milk combo. I mean, I think I built the entire thing, so I guess we try it now? There's no way I did that. I mean, that's got to be record time. Like, we hardly lost any from the nuclear countdown here. Let's go ahead and pull it and see. Maybe- oh, my lever's in the wrong spot. Okay, that's good. Well, wait, this is the wrong way. That's why. This is facing the wrong way. Wait a minute. We can fix this. This has to go up. <gasps> now we've done it, I think. Okay, that turns on. Wait, this is wrong. Why, why did I make all these? What? We get it. We did it. It works. Oh my gosh, this is actually so cool now that it works because it's just one flick. It turns it on, then it turns it off, and it instantly sucks the water up. This is incredible. An exploding composter? Oh god, why do you guys make this complicated stuff? What the heck? So, I think this is basically one of the builds our boys made that explodes a composter when you fill it up. However, this is a much simpler one that is probably better to use, so we're gonna try this instead. Now, I gotta be careful here, because if this uh, island's set to rig to blow up, very well could destroy the island if we do this. There we go. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, d definitely be careful. Maybe place the TNT last if you're going for this build. So that's what it should look like. Pretty darn simple. Obviously, you bury the rest of it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I put in a single piece of a sapling and the thing explodes. It's a very good hack. I don't see how this gets us out of the island. It just kind of made the island smaller. Maybe there's another button I could push. Let's go look around. Guys, look, another button over here. Let's go ahead and see what this one says. Push if you are scared. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm scared, but like, okay. Look behind you. Huh? This one says push after your next hack. Okay, we're getting something. Now my Minecraft server actually has real mailboxes, but this is a code for a working mailbox somehow? I have no idea how this is gonna help us escape, so hopefully that next button press gives us a hint. So I think the design is simply a fence with a barrel on it, and then it looks like they're using a torch here then a lever. Oh, it does work. Oh, cool. I did not know the lever would turn a torch on and off because I'm an idiot, but you can literally turn it on. This is like the flat. So like if you have mail, you turn it on. So like, so let's say you go leave someone like a present inside their mailbox, then you flick this up and that's a sign that there's something in there for you to get. This is kind of cool. This does not help us escape. So let's go push that other button. Push after your next tack. It says there is a boat somewhere. Why you gotta be so cryptic, weird button? This is a functional Minecraft oven. I have never seen anything like this in my life. S wow. What? And it drops food out of the ceiling? Okay, first off, I don't think that's where your food comes from, but what the heck am I supposed to build this? So if I put a single plank in, that generates a couple pieces of smoke, so that's how we can create the smoke. Now I need to make it so a hopper adds in one port one plank, so that's the hard part. See, at least I know a little bit about redstone, so I can kind of do this. I know you can turn hoppers off, and if you do that, it stops them from actually working. So if I power it, it shouldn't release anything. I think I actually- I think I actually might have- no. This took me a long time to figure out, but I think I actually got it, at least part of it. So I push that, it's gonna temporarily release a couple pieces of wood in, which turns it on and generates some smoke. Okay, watch, ready? Oh, there, oh, oh, turn it on! I think we actually got this thing working! It's a little bit off though, because this needs to be uh, now double inverted. What is happening, guys? Call me Mumbo Jumbo Gamers, because that's exactly what I am. So this is our build, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Obviously it's not the prettiest thing ever, but we do have a time limit to beat here today. We're gonna push the button and see what happens. 
Smoker's on, lid opens, pork chop falls. Not the cleanest fall I've ever seen. However, it does work. This is a two color laser door. So I think I know mostly how to make this, but uh, two colors. Oh, cool. That's a lot of work. <laughs> oh. Oh my. That's a doozy of a project. I mean, that's a, that's a borderline three minute tutorial here. <laughs> oh man. I'm like, I'm like not, this is gonna be really hard. Oh boy. So we're gonna put three beacons in the middle though. One, two, three. Why don't you power you little pieces of crap there? Okay, so that's the beacon door. We're really getting harder. I, I'm not gonna lie. I think every one of these gets harder today, which really makes my odds of escaping this exploding island a lot shorter. At least it's gonna look good when it when we all die. Now we get to pick our color. So for us, I think red seems like a safe bet because you know, freaking uh, lover fella. <laughs> Looks kind of good too. Oh, look at that. So cool. Oh, there we go. Look how cool this is. All green means you're able to walk through it. And then when it changes to all red, you can't walk through it. I actually built this, guys. Guys, there's a button in the corner with like no sign by it. This is like kind of hidden. It says in two hacks, I'll reward you. This is a near undetectable hidden entrance you could have inside your base. All you have to do is walk up and hold a fungus and your door opens because when you do that, the strider walks towards you and steps on the pressure plate. So I guess the first step is make a very tiny strider cage. This poor creature is literally spending its entire life to simply open doors and it seems to be able to walk through that. So we'll make the lava deeper. There you go, buddy. Welcome to your new life. You will not be getting out of that for as long as you live. And we'll put some glass around it so that we can see you in there. Stuff. I mean, enjoying your life forever. And then I think all you want to do is most likely put a little tripwire here and a tripwire right here. So now when he walks into that, that's going to trigger the old uh, door to open. And all we have to do is make the door now. You're living your best life. I know you are, dude. So he walks over to your warped fungus, opens up the path. You jump into it and then he gets pushed away and then it turns off. Look at how cool this is. I mean, come on. This is crazy. It doesn't help us beat the game, but it's crazy. This guy made a Minecraft redstone mini game. So he made it randomly drop chickens and then you try to shoot them and you count how many you got. This is kind of a good idea. People on my Minecraft server always try to make money in businesses to like be the best. This is a great business for you guys. One more hack after this to get in the next hint. He says it's really simple. I mean, I'm here for it if it's simple, but I just don't know if that's true. Lava goes in the front and then a trip wire along the entire edge. This is this is getting very interesting. I have no idea what this is actually trying to make here. I, I mean, I'm getting close. So now you just put seven dispensers in there and then you fill these with regular eggs, which is kind of interesting because that means you could actually do this in vanilla minecraft <laughs> i'm like i'm taking it scene by scene here because he said it's important so i don't want to miss anything watch carefully he says okay sir i will watch carefully oh it's working look at this we got the chicken hunt game oh my god so i got a score of one right now this is what a great game i don't even care if i have to drink milk and ketchup because this has made my day that is such a sick build bro time is extremely low we have this hack to build and then we should be getting one of our best secrets yet this is a music note box Secret door? I think I can do this way faster than this guy can even show me. I think if I do something like this, this should be roughly the right build. Problem is that's not turning it on yet, but that's okay. We'll fix it. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to make it. I can't get this one. I'm like being stupid. This doesn't pick up the signal, dude. Guys, I think we got it. I think we got it. Here's our note block secret entrance right here in the corner. That was actually way harder than I thought it'd be. But if I push this, those extend. If I push it, they go back. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your hole right here. <gasps> the TNT is below this build? Oh my God. Okay, well, that thing works. We got to find our next button. I wonder if it's by the TNT. Here's one. It says, dig down to be free. All right. So there's a giant hole here. Somehow we've missed it. And a, see, it says, do not pull lever. Either this is going to set us free or it's not going to help us and show that we learned nothing today from pushing random buttons. That doesn't sound great. Oh no. Oh, the redstone. I definitely lost the challenge. Let's unfortunately enjoy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's so bad. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Peace.